Hello YouTube, super excited to be here with you today. In this video, I'm gonna take you through how to connect a data source that you started in your My Documents folder. So let's say you were just building data, you downloaded a file or you saved it to your desktop. You started building your, your Power BI reports and dashboards and you realized, wait, there's an easier way to set up the refresh in the service once you publish those reports um, if you use SharePoint, right? So you don't have to have the gateway connection, you don't have to have the computer that the report's running on up and running during the refresh. There's just instant benefit to using SharePoint. So I strongly encourage folks who are just using desktop files now, downloads or my documents or a share folder uh, local to move that data over to a SharePoint site and then you can have some instant benefits from a refresh and connectivity standpoint uh, within the Power BI service. This particular question uh, came in from our YouTube channel uh, at RAR904 about a year ago. I know, slap my hand. It's been a while uh, since I, I had a chance to <laughs> go out here and make this content, but this is going to be super short and sweet. But they said, hey, I have a specific folder on my PC. I've created that same exact folder on SharePoint. Now I just need to know how to connect to that data source um, a little bit more seamlessly. Awesome. So that's what we're gonna go through today. Hopefully you find this content helpful. So really quick, just to kind of show you what's going on, I have created a simple folder with Adventure Work sales data in it. I'm actually gonna connect my Power BI report directly to this source, put just a simple, you know, not too extravagant report together. And then I'm gonna show you how to move that data over to your SharePoint site. And very similar on my SharePoint site, I have a Folder set up, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the Adventures Works file out here. Um, let me close it down really quick. All right, so now I've got the Adventure Works file loading into the folder that I've created specific for this video. I've got it already on my desktop. So now let's open up Power BI and let's just show you really quickly how you do this sort of migration. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is get data and I'm gonna actually get it from the local source up front. All right, so it's gonna be an Excel workbook. Again, I'm gonna get it from my YouTube. Uh, folder. And then I'll go ahead and load some of this data in. Should be multiple tabs. Let's just grab um, I have a feeling if I grab all these, we'll see. Let's go ahead and grab all these tables just for the A of it. Maybe you've got multiple data sources in here that you want to uh, connect to. Let's load the data. Okay. We'll give it a second to finish loading. Full disclosure, I didn't check the size of this data. I just kind of pulled down the file. All right, cool, it's done. <clears throat> awesome, so right now if I go to, let's just go to transform data really quick. I just wanna see um, files. All right, so simple. You see we got several data files in here that we connected to um, inside of the report. If you go to data source settings, it's a single data source, right? So um, there's a couple ways you could go about doing this, and I might show you a couple of additional approaches to this, but for this one, and for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to change this data source through the easiest way uh, that I know how. Now let's just assume you're only gonna have this one single file. For, so for this case study, we're just gonna use the one file. So I went to these three ellipses, I went to the details section, and I went and found the path for this particular Excel file. So I'm gonna copy that path. I'm gonna go over here to where I've got the original data source, and I'm gonna say, let's change this data source. Let's paste in the path we just found. Let's close. 
And now let's close and apply. Oops. And now what the system's gonna do is try and recognize if the Excel file I just connected to out on SharePoint is exactly the same as the one I had originally in my folder section. In this case it is, it's the exact same format. And so now, if I go to data sources, I'm connected to a cloud-based online source um, using SharePoint. It's that easy, guys. Hopefully this content was helpful. Again, if you're trying to change your data sources from a local drive into SharePoint, this is the process you take. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want more feedback or more details on this, let me know. And then if you've got a need or a question or something that you're interested in learning a bit more about, let us know.